if it turns out that the beauty that is consciousness in the universe is bigger than just humans, the AI can carry that same flame forward. Does it scare you? Or are you concerned that AI will replace humans? So during my career, I had a moment where I realized that, you know, maybe we need to offload to machines to truly understand the universe around us, right? Instead of just having humans with pen and paper solve it all. And to me, that sort of process of letting go of a bit of agency gave us way more leverage to understand the world around us. A quantum computer is much better than a human to understand matter at the, at the nanoscale. Similarly, I think that humanity has a choice. Do we accept the opportunity to have intellectual and operational leverage that AI will unlock and thus ensure that we're taking along this path of growth and scope and scale of civilization, we may dilute ourselves, right? Uh, there might be a lot of workers that are AI, but overall out of our own self-interest, by combining and augmenting ourselves with AI, uh, we're gonna achieve much higher growth and much more prosperity, right? To me, I think that the most likely future is one where humans, augment themselves with AI. I think we're already on this path to augmentation. We have phones we use for communication. We have on ourselves at all times. We have wearables soon that have shared perception with us, right? Like mm -hmm. the human AI pin, or I mean, technically your Tesla car has shared perception. And so if you have shared experience, shared context, you communicate with one another and you have some sort of IO really it's an extension of yourself. Um, and to me, I think that humanity augmenting itself with AI and having AI that is not anchored to anything biological, both will coexist. And the way to align the parties, we already have a sort of mechanism to align super intelligences that are made of humans and technology, right? Companies are sort of large mixture of expert <laughs> models where we have neural routing of tasks within a company and we have ways of economic exchange to align these behemoths. And to me, I think capitalism is the way. And I do think that whatever configuration of matter or information leads to maximal growth will be where we converge just from like physical principles. And so we can either align ourselves to that reality and, and join the acceleration up in scope and scale of civilization, or we can get left behind and try to decelerate and move back in the, in the forest, let go of technology and return to our primitive state. And those are the two paths forward, at least to me. But there's a philosophical question whether there's a limit to the human capacity to align. So let me bring it up uh, as a form of argument. This is a guy named Dan Hendricks, and he wrote that uh, he agrees with you that AI development can be viewed as an evolutionary process. But to him, to Dan, this is not a good thing as he argues that natural selection favors AIs over humans, and this could lead to human extinction. What do you think? If it is an evolutionary process, and AI systems may have no need for humans. I do think that we're actually inducing an evolutionary process on the space of AIs through the market, uh -huh. right? Right now, we run AIs that have positive utility to humans. And that induces a selective pressure if you consider a neural net being alive when there's a, an API running instances of it on GPUs, yeah. right? And which APIs get run? The ones that have high utility to us, right? So similar to how we domesticated wolves and turned them into dogs that 
are very clear in their expression. They're very aligned, right? Uh, I think there's going to be an opportunity to steer uh, AI and achieve uh, highly aligned AI. And I think that humans plus AI is a very powerful combination. And it's not clear to me that pure AI um, would select out that combination. So the humans are creating the selection pressure right now mm -hmm. to create AIs that are uh, aligned to humans. But you know, given how AI develops and how quickly it can grow and scale, one of the concerns to me, one of the concerns is unintended consequences. Like humans are not able to anticipate all the consequences of this process. The scale of damage that could be done through unintended consequences with AI systems is very large. The scale of the upside. Yes. Right? Yes. By augmenting ourselves with AI is un unimaginable right now. The The opportunity cost, we're, we're at a fork in the road, right? Whether we take the path of creating these technologies, augment ourselves, and get to climb up the Carter Swift scale, become multi-planetary with the aid of AI, or we have a hard cutoff of like, we don't birth these technologies at all, and then we leave all the potential upside on the table, Yeah. right? And to me, out of responsibility to the future humans we could carry, right, with higher carrying capacity, by scaling up civilization out of responsibility to those humans, I think we have to make the greater, grander future happen. Is there a middle ground between cut off and all systems go? Is there some argument for caution? I think, like I said, the market will exhibit caution. Every organism, company, consumer is acting out of self-interest and they won't assign capital to things that have negative utility to them. The problem is with the market is like, you know, there's not always perfect information, there's manipulation, there's uh, bad mm -hmm. faith actors that mess with the system. It's not It's not always a uh, rational and honest system. Well, that's why we need freedom of information, freedom of speech, and freedom of thought in order to converge, be able to converge on uh, the subspace of technologies that have positive utility for us all.